Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. If Huawei had not received special care from the United States, China's technology might not have developed so fast. The reason is that China is too rules-abiding. After proposing global cooperation internationally, China has been doing its best to maintain the operation of the market, but it fell into the trap of the United States. The United States' dominance of global cooperation is completely based on technological hegemony, and Huawei's 5G overtaking has directly destroyed the original balance and directly damaged the interests of American companies. The United States is naturally anxious and can only accuse Huawei of network security problems everywhere and join forces with allies to boycott. Unexpectedly, the more restrictions Huawei is imposed, the stronger it becomes. The United States can only cut off the supply of American technology. After Qualcomm chips and Google Android systems were cut off, Huawei quickly developed Harmony OS system and Kirin chips, which completely forced the United States into a dead end. It can only show its sharp claws in advance and fully assemble the supply chain to suppress and sanction. In addition to TSMC, the most severely restricted company is AMSL. As the only company in the world that can manufacture EUV lithography machines, although it has a monopoly position, it cannot get rid of the US technology and has completely lost the freedom to ship under the chip rules. The Netherlands has argued many times, but it still faces the crisis of losing the Chinese market. ASML's position in the Chinese market has completely reversed. You must know that when facing China, ASML's senior management once arrogantly stated, even if China can get the drawings, it cannot produce a usable lithography machine. Now they are asking China to buy their equipment. How arrogant they were at the beginning, how embarrassed they are now. Before 2018, China's chips were completely dependent on imports. Even low-end and mid-end chips could not be self-developed. The annual import volume exceeded 400 billion US dollars, and all pricing power was in the hands of American companies. China, which bought at high prices, had to swallow its anger. At that time, Chinese companies were bewitched by the slogan, it is better to buy than to make, and it is better to rent than to buy, and they had no ambition to conduct independent research and development. The chip rules, promoted by the United States, directly broke the original pattern. Huawei completed a counterattack in desperation. After the return of Kirin 9000S, it completely solved the problem of high-end chip supply and confirmed that it did not contain any American technology. TSMC and Samsung had to stand aside. The completely domesticated industrial system has been built. Faced with such facts, the United States can only make a big fuss about ASML. After winning over Japan and the Netherlands to sign a tripartite agreement, it also pressured the Netherlands to interrupt the parts and after-sales service of the lithography machine. Previously, AMSL had publicly stated, 
there is a way to remotely lock TSMC's lithography machine. This sentence has the meaning of even if China can land on the island, it can't get TSMC technology. In fact, it is a side-by-side -side attack on China, telling China that China's lithography machine can become scrap iron at any time. Faced with such provocation, China naturally can't stand it and directly responded, if the lithography machine that has been purchased becomes scrap iron, then AMSL will be required to repurchase it at the original price. Under China's toughness, the Netherlands instantly backed down and began to negotiate with the United States in various ways, but ultimately failed to achieve results. It had to compromise at the end of August and publicly responded. It would begin to restrict after-sales service for Chinese customers, mainly targeting China's mid-to-high-end DUV lithography machines that have not yet completed autonomy. If the AMSL plan is followed, China's lithography machines will be shut down as early as next year. You must know that in the past few years, China has purchased nearly 100 DUV lithography machines. If all of them become scrap iron, it will undoubtedly be a major blow, but fortunately China has made preparations in advance. In the first half of 2024, China's daily chip production reached 1.15 billion, a year-on-year -year increase of more than 28.9%, and the chip export share also increased by 25.6% to 547.2 billion yuan. Although the results are based on ASML lithography machines, China already has alternatives. This year, the 65 nanometers lithography machine breakthrough has been officially announced, and Shanghai Microelectronics 28 nanometers lithography machine will also be completed. Faced with such a fact, ASML is completely panicked. After participating in the 7th China International Import Expo on November 5th, ASML suddenly announced, it will do its utmost to meet customer needs. In 2025, sales in China will return to historical levels, accounting for 20% of the world. This means that ASML is not willing to give up the Chinese market at all. If it really comes to that step, it is already clear who will win. Foreign media directly responded, Smartness is back. What do you think of this?